This week on Machinery PTV, Pete visits with Vern Kelly and the chapter that closed for him a year ago, leading to today's auction. The most unique 4250 you've ever seen. And there's no hours on this 2009 9570 SDS combine. Pete has the story. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires, check out the Tire Grabber at TheTireGrabber.com. Big Iron Auctions and the Share Your Legacy program, promoting the future of agriculture with amazing legacy stories from across America. Well, folks, I'm in Northfield, Minnesota today, and the reason I'm here, it all started with an email back Last fall, unfortunate situation, Vernon Kelly here lost his son Daniel, age 44, very suddenly, a uh, heart attack. And Vernon had some questions with the farm equipment and I just tried to listen. And it turns out that the auction was the way to go for Vernon uh, selling Dan's equipment, beautiful line of equipment. And BigIron.com is having the online auction here. And we're gonna talk to Vernon about his son Dan and the beautiful line of equipment, including an incredibly nice 1990 John Deere 4755. Now first, we need to start off the show with Share Your Legacy from our friends at Big Iron. Recently, we traveled to Central Missouri, where we catch up with the Gregory family, whose Hereford cattle operation dates back to a wedding gift in 1932. Are we ready? Yeah, we're getting the mud. Say hello. There, oh, look at Daddy feeding him over, isn't he? And we gotta make sure the boys are happy today, don't we? We've been up in Northern Pettis County since probably back early 30, 1930s. We are a cow-calf row crop operation uh, raising registered poll Hereford cattle. Registered poll Hereford cattle are, I feel, the best thing in the world. They're gentle, they're very well behaved. They always, I can put a, my girls out in a pen and I don't have to worry. My grandfather, whenever he got married, as a wedding gift, received a Hereford cow. That was their wedding gift. Pulled Herefords are something that's just in our blood. We love it. They're friendly, they are beautiful, and they are just wonderful animals to have in our backyard. My grandfather and him had horn Hereford and started breeding the horns off of them. Um, and we have just continued with the pulled side of it ever since. This is a show box that goes back to my grandfather, E.H. Gregory. Um, it was what he used to use back showing cattle whenever he was younger and showing my father, my uncle. Uh, this is what they used when they showed. Piece of the family. You know, this is part of the family. This is who we are. Uh, if it survived this long, it needs to be out where it's seen. Being at Gregory is amazing. It's all about the legacy. It's about family. I was one of the fortunate ones, since I'm the oldest, I got to know great grandpa. I knew grandpa, I know my dad, I see where our family's going. It's wonderful, we're always there. We support each other through the good, the bad, the thick, the thin. Fortunate with, with, the, with the daughters right here at the farm. They're here working, the son-in-laws. Um, and you know, we can't forget the grandkids. You know, they, they are right here working. They've got right out there feeding cows with me, doing stuff, I mean, anything with that there, they're here doing it. I love my wife, I love my kids, my family, my farm. Uh, how much better life do you want?
Big Iron and Sullivan Auctioneers, a Big Iron company, is your ultimate destination for all your online auction needs. As North America's leading online equipment auction house, BigIron.com connects you with the national marketplace for buying and selling. Plus, Big Iron provides options to help you get top dollar for your equipment. Choose a dedicated online day as a single seller or include your equipment in weekly Wednesday auctions. Visit BigIron.com today and start buying and selling with confidence. And once we tried it, we knew right away that this was a really good product. Very safe because the tire grabber grabs it very securely. And it's easy to move around and it's just much safer and quicker. Bought the tire grabber six months ago. And since we bought it, it sped up our work doing sprayer tires and farm tractor duels. And it's cut our time probably in half on that stuff. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. You've got to try this. The power of foam is the only way to clean and degrease your equipment. Simply foam it on, give the foam a few minutes to work, and power wash it off. Cuts grease and your wash time significantly. The foam won't harm electrical sensors or controls. It neutralizes and washes away farm chemicals and is safe to use on most surfaces. Call 888-996-7801 or go online to check out their dealer locator at powerofoam.com to find the power of foam near you. Innovative fertilizer application equipment from Farmada, whose founder specialized in working with 20,000 plus acre farmers while working for his family business Great Plains for 18 years. In 2018, Farmada partnered with Shield Ag to develop commercial grade fertilizer toolbars that are built tough for the most extreme working conditions. These machines are very flexible, adapting to uneven terrain. All drawbar and fold pivots are greaseless and made with hardened steel bushings. Frame is designed so draft forces of tractor and rear wagon run straight through. Two bars will accurately place liquid dryer NH3 between 6 and 12 inches deep. Hey folks, I'm here with Vern Kelly, Northfield, Minnesota. Now Vern, I wish it was a different circumstance why we're here, but uh, you reached out with an email um, end of 22 um, and your son Dan passed away suddenly. Uh, it was Saturday of Thanksgiving weekend? Yeah, two days after Thanksgiving. Okay, and Dan was 44? 44 years old. He just turned 44 on the 13th of November. Okay. Well again, an auction situation, we wish it was a different circumstance, but you reached out and we, we had some wonderful exchanges and uh, yes. uh, thank you for having us up here um, to kind of tell Dan's story a little bit. And I was very intrigued, Vern. It was apparent the bond that you and your son had farming together. Um, can you talk a little bit about the history uh, of that and, and how Dan loved farming? Well, basically we, we uh, acquired a farm, my great grandfather's farm who homesteaded it in northwest of Aberdeen, South Dakota and the same year Dan was born. Okay. And so when he could travel with me, he would he would go with and, and I had a van and he would we'd take off and go out to South Dakota maybe. To, and I should have pointed out that you guys had a Kelly Fuel. Yep, at the same time, at the okay. same time. Yeah, yep. in the Twin Cities, Southern yeah, Minnesota. In, in Bloomington, then we moved to Shakopee. Okay. And then that Dan became a part of that later okay. on. But early on he, his love of farming came from out in South Dakota. Okay. Again, 30 trips a year out there, and uh, we basically wheat. Okay. And uh, I can remember one time I was, I got a, we used to fallow in those days, and a fallow field got away from me, and I think I was plowing it. And I, I have a video of someplace where he was like three, four years old, and he's carrying my lunch bucket, and he was coming up the roll, and this big smile on his face and that he just loved he loved and that's how his love of farming by the time i was ready to say you know i've had about enough of this and mm -hmm. uh, making the trip out to south dakota 30 we trips lived, yeah and we lived in in minneapolis uh, lakeville yeah. area and uh he, he said no no i i we're not we're not selling we're going to be out there and so then he would I kind of transferred things to him back in, when he was 15 and we needed a bigger tractor. Okay. And I said, Dan, I says, go find a, find a bigger tractor. So he found out and Kibble implemented out in, sure. in Montevideo, he found a 4840. Nice. And so the guy didn't know he was 15 years old. And so Dan made the deal on it and, and I was busy with the oil business. And so then we went to pick the tractor up and we got over there and I said, okay, here's the check. You made the deal, you go in and finish it. Nice. So he walked in there and the guy, Oh, you're Dan? Yeah. How old are you? 15. Oh, 
So and then we end up with that tractor and and. Uh, so you guys, you were doing the 30 trips farming in South Dakota and you were just busy as heck with the fuel business. And then at some point bought a farm here, uh, just in the Northfield area. Yeah, in 2018, Dan said, Dad, I'm tired of making the trip out there 30 times a year, can we do something different? And I said, yeah. I said, find, uh, find somebody out there that'll buy the farm and uh, see what we can find down here. So he called a realtor and she came and found, so showed us this farm and two others that were all, all owned by the same fellow and a bin site over here. Mm. And so he, he got a hold of a fellow, uh, Red Angus, Beaver Red Angus Ranch out in South Dakota. And the guy said, hey, he says, this is gonna work out. My daughter wants to come back and, and farm with us and we're looking for a place. And mm. so we made a deal and a little 1031 tax exchange and we ended up with the farm out here. Best way I've seen to fix faded paint, Dakota Shine. Made in South Dakota by Dakota Ag Innovations, a company with a 20 year history of working with top construction equipment manufacturers, now offering Dakota Shine to the farm community to help you keep your equipment looking like new and retain more value when it comes time to sell or trade. Key active ingredient from corn soy derivatives. Order online at dakotashine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today. Top producer is the best event I attend all year. Take your operation to the top at the 2024 Top Producer Summit in Kansas City, February 5th through the 7th. Join other producers and industry experts and discover business opportunities, gain valuable insights, and increase your competitive advantage. Visit tpsummit.com to register today. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machinery Pete's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerypeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Well, I tell you what folks, late 2023 might go down as one of the hottest periods I've ever seen for auction prices on tractors. Just incredible what we were seeing out there. Now let me just give you a few examples in that uh, 200 horsepower on up range with a little bit of age on them, particularly a hot spot. Now my good friends at Wilson National, a great auction company out of the state of Ohio, had a farm sale on December 7th in Richwood, Ohio, where they sold this 1992 Case H 7140 Magnum, 4,626 hours on it, went for 79,000 bucks, that's the highest auction price I've ever seen on a 7140, but get this, it clipped a record that stood uh, for 10 and a half years. You gotta go back to July of 13, we saw one for 76.5. Actually, that same auction, December 7th in Richwood, Ohio, had another record price. This 2010 Case H Magnum 245 with 938 hours on it, sold for 170,000 bucks. Again, a record price. Interesting side note, the previous record was also held by Wilson National on a farm auction almost exactly a year ago, November 18th of 22, they had a sale in London, Ohio, where an 11 model uh, Magnum 245 with 1,808 hours went for 165. Now you green fans know, I didn't forget about you, I'll, I'll give you one to chew on here, uh, from a sale November 29th, farm auction in Columbia City, Indiana by Schrader Real Estate and Auction Company, fantastic company. They sold this 1998 John Deere 8300 sharp unit 4,579 hours on it went for 135,000 bucks. Folks, that's a record by $18,000. Hey folks, welcome back to Tractor Tales. This week is something I guarantee you've never seen before, a John Deere 4250 that's quite different. This little beauty stopped in my tracks. I'm here with Jeremy Anderson, Anderson Mini. Jeremy, what have you created here? Uh, we got a, a small scale uh, 4250 tractor, you know, to represent the, the look-alike of a, of a full-size Generation 2 tractor. Right. Mini muscle. Yeah, mini muscle. So now you're Spring Valley, Wisconsin. You, you built this thing. How long did it take you to make it? it took, you know, off-season in between farming to get it to where it is now. What was the biggest challenge in, in a project like this? Just getting the scale correct so that everything looked 
like it's supposed to, you know, so nothing looked odd, you know, and then the, the, doing, the, doing the wheel ratio and, and stuff like that so that the mechanical front was still functional. So you had a little uh, mathematical uh, uh, work involved there to keep it in scale, huh? Yep. Very cool. It's a little bigger. I've seen other minis, uh, beautiful minis, other makes, yep. but kind of based more off of the, of the traditional garden tractor. Yep. Well, do you think this was just more challenging being that it was built off a little larger tractor? Um, I don't know about the challenge factor. I haven't done anything with the smaller ones, but I'm, I'm sure they're all a challenge to get put together, but it's um, yeah, like any project. You a just start and you just kind of keep after yeah. it. Yeah, so we've got uh, open station, front wheel assist, mini muscle. What's not to love? It's, it's tough looking. You know, it's, it is tough yeah. looking. Hey, I think we're going to have some red hot bidding, folks. Stay tuned. Our feature item on the auction this 1990 John Deere 4755, 5747 hours on it. It's kind of been in the family from a neighbor. This thing is legit and it is sharp. Big Iron and Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company, is your go to destination for all your online auction needs. As North America's leading online equipment auction house, BigIron.com connects you with a national marketplace for buying and selling. Whether you're upgrading or downsizing, BigIron.com has you covered. Experience the ease of online auctions with the leading name in the industry. Visit BigIron.com today and start buying and selling with confidence. The only way I've seen to safely clean aluminum grain on stock trailers is Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner from Dakota Ag Innovations. With over 15 years of proven performance cleaning all types of aluminum, the results speak for themselves. Dirty, stained, and discolored aluminum trailers don't stand a chance against Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner. Safely improve the appearance of your aluminum trailers at home and make a statement with Bright Plus. Order today at TrailerCleaner.com or find Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner at a farm store near you. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. All right, folks, our feature item on the auction. Wow, uh, a very nice tractor, 1990 4755. Vern, now I understand back when you and Dan were farming the South Dakota farm, near uh, Leola there, that your neighbor, he bought this tractor new? Yeah, Lloyd Bidner, he bought it from Brown County Implement, which is now RDO at Aberdeen. And uh, he used it, and his dad, it was one of his dad's favorite tractors, mm. and it was Dan's favorite tractor. Mm. Dan loved it, and so when Lloyd semi-retired, he farmed a few acres, but he decided he was gonna sell the 4755, and so, Dan and I bought it from him. Nice. Yeah. And Dan's favorite tractor, what was it about the 4755? I don't know. He just it had all the power he wanted, and it had. The, and then we went to the precision planting now with it, with the uh, auto steer and the mm. globe, and he pulled this planter right here with it. And and uh, uh, it was kind of our, you know, we, we'd gone to some Compere Agstar seminars on precision, precision farming, and, and it was kind of our way of, Saying, hey, we're gonna we're gonna get into this. I like it. So yeah, buying it from your neighbor that uh, and Dan had worked with him in the summers when he was young. He did. That that, I mean, buying a tractor where you know the history of it is really valuable, isn't it? Yes. In fact, one time I was out there <coughs> farming our farm and we didn't have as much to do and Lloyd needed some stuff done and so I said I'll drive that tractor and so I went and did some uh, field cultivation for it with them and I remember I thought man I could get we had a lot of potholes and, and if you got too close it would suck you right in and get stuck this one here when you put the front wheel assist boy you just go right around and I thought nice. this is the tractor so yeah well, I noticed it, the online bidding immediately when it opened on this thing bang you were over 34,000 I wonder if it might be because those international uh, front weights there. <laughs> that could, that could <laughs> What's be. What's the story there? Uh, I'm sure it was what Lloyd could find when he was putting it together. And, yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you get the best, you get a little green plus red equals right. red hot bidding. In you the notice he painted book. them green though. <laughs> I did catch that. Then, yeah. I, then the, the duels were always white for all the years we had it. And the, the outside duels and, and so Dan 
told me here about two years ago, he said, you got to paint those. So I brought them both in and, and painted them. And nice. he, he must have mentioned about, well, I know he sent a picture to Lloyd. And he says, look at, we got those painted yellow now. And, and, <laughs> and he must have mentioned to me about three times how excited he was that those, yeah. those rims got painted yellow. Well, it's a beautiful tractor and uh, whoever buys it, I mean, this is the kind of tractor that could go to a buyer from anywhere in the yep. North America. Yeah, I had people from Montana calling on mm. it. All right, folks, today we're gonna to talk combines. Now, I'm smiling because if you follow Machine Repeat on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I'm guessing you're gonna know the combine I wanna talk about today. And the story starts the afternoon of December 12th when I got a message from Dan in our Machine Repeat office. And Dan said, Pete, you gotta check this out. A farmer from South Dakota just clicked on the sell mine link on machinerepeat.com and listed this combine for sale. It's a 2009 John Deere 9570 STS, zero separator hours, never used, always been in the shed, one owner combine. So you know me, I'm, I'm the, my Paul Harvey thing, I need the rest of the story. So I pick up the phone and call the seller, and he's a young farmer, his name is uh, Adam Borman, very sharp guy, really fun to talk to. And Adam said, Pete, you know, it's an interesting tale said, my dad, Randy, and my grandpa, Delton, bought this combine new in 2009 from Notaboom Implement in Corsica, South Dakota, which is now CMB Operations. But Adam said when they got the combine home, his father, Randy, who just passed this past January, uh, changed their crop rotation and got away from corn and had the soybeans uh, custom done for years. So the combine just sat in the shed new, and like I said, Fortunately, Randy passed away in January, and Adam's a young guy, he's in the seed business. Uh, Adam just decided my best play is to sell this combine. And he listed it at 249,900 bucks, and Adam asked me, Pete, what do you think of my price? And I said, Adam, if I were you, I'd, I'd list it for the same price, because uh, you know what's new in cost? It's hard to find these pre-def ones with low hours, these smaller class combines. This is a one in a lifetime deal here with no hours on a brand new. And I tell you folks, I posted a blog on the night of the 12th on this combine, and it was the most viral blog I've ever posted. In a couple of minutes, we had over 800 clicks on this 9570 combine. And by the way, if you're looking for a wowzer last minute Christmas gift, a 2009 9570 with zero hours on it, go to machinerypeat.com, here's your chance. Boy, I tell you, that was really fun to get up close to that beautiful John Deere 4755 and hear Vern talk about how it was his late son Dan's favorite tractor and how he grew up driving it back in South Dakota with their neighbor and friend Lloyd Binder. And a couple weeks after the auction, Vern Kelly sent me this picture, folks. Now, this is a custom-made John Deere 4755 that Vern had made from Lamar's toy store for his friend Lloyd Binder back in Leola, South Dakota, Lloyd's 80th birthday, and Vern wanted to surprise him with this gift. Now Vern, I tell you, you are a great friend to Lloyd. You were a great father to your son, Dan, and it was an honor to have our Machinery PTV show at your auction to hear the story of how, you, how much you loved farming with your son and how much he loved farming with you. Prayers and good thoughts to you, my friend. We'll see you back here next week, folks. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires, check out the Tire Grabber at TheTireGrabber.com. Big Iron Auctions and the Share Your Legacy program, promoting the future of agriculture with amazing legacy stories from across America.